In this video, we are going to take a look at Unit 7, Lesson 14, which is going to be kind of putting everything together that we've been talking about in this unit in the last couple lessons. So on page 243, um, we're trying to decide which of these pizzas is a better deal. So we've got one that's a personal sized pizza with a radius of 10 centimeters and it costs $5. Then another pizza place has a pizza that's much larger with a radius of 30 centimeters, but then they're gonna divide it into eight equal slices and each slice costs $5. So which pizza is the better deal? Come up with a strategy, figure it out, and then come back to the video. All right, so for this first pizza, you're getting the whole pizza here um, for $5 and they're giving you a radius of 10. So if we looked at the area, since it's what we're eating, so if we looked at the area of this pizza, um, we're getting 100 pi centimeters squared, which is approximately 314 centimeters squared for $5. And so let's take a look at this other pizza. Now we know this pizza is actually um, much larger, but they're dividing it into um, eight slices. So let's figure out the area for each of these eight slices. And so for this one, we have a radius of 30 centimeters. So the area here is going to be 30 times 30, which is 900 pi. And if we divide that into eight equal slices, each of these slices is going to be about 300 um, like 54 or something. So about 354 centimeters squared for each slice. And so again, that's for $5. So in this second pizza, you're actually getting more pizza for the same amount. So 354 for $5 versus 314 for $5. So this one would be the better deal. All right, then in that same page, um, we've got Elena who is researching offers for an upcoming Pizza Palooza festival that she's going to and she wants to make sure that she gets the best deal possible on a slice of pizza. And so you can see the four vendors below and they tell you the size of each pizza and remember that when we're talking about the size of a pizza, this nine inch pizza, that's nine inch diameter. Okay, so a nine inches across, 12 inches, 14, um, 10 inches, that's your diameter. And then it tells you how much each pizza cost. So go ahead and kind of think of how would you figure out what the best deal is for the pizza and why do you think it's the best deal or why is it the best deal for you? And then come back to the video. All right, so there's a bunch of different ways um, that we could think about this um, when you're deciding which one is the best deal. And there's going to be a lot of different things to consider on what makes it a, what makes it a good deal or not. Maybe you just want to go with vendor A because it's the cheapest per slice, so two seventy five per slice. And so you're just like, all right, I want to go for the cheapest one possible. That's the best deal. Um, so that's that's one way you could look into it. You could also start analyzing by how much pizza you're getting to eat in it in each case and look for kind of the unit cost like we did in the warm up. But that would require that you know how what portion of the pizza each one is. And so when we look at this vendor A, we can see this whole pizza and we can see it's being split into six slices. So we know each slice is one sixth of the pizza. Same here, you can kind of see that this one-fourth of the pizza is being split into two. So then this is going to be an eighth of the pizza. They're going to split this into eight equal slices for each one. Um, and so maybe you can see that and decided, all right, this is going to be an eighth of the pizza. But then that's a little bit harder um, for these two since they're not showing you the whole pizza. So how else could we do that? Well... Maybe you took a protractor and you actually measured because it should be a similar, it should be similar since it's a photo. So it should be similar to the larger or to the actual pizza slice. So maybe you did that. 
and came up with the degree measure here for each um, for each pizza slice. And um, another way you maybe could have done that is by looking into radians um, by actually calculating the radius by with like a piece of string or something and laying a piece of string out, then curving that string to see how much. So your string would kind of go over this one because this isn't one radian. So maybe you decided it's like two thirds of a radian Okay, or not quite one, so you did like 0.7 radians. And over here, you did the same thing. So you cal calculated with this piece of string, you laid the string over here, and you saw it was almost equal to the string, but not quite. So maybe you said this one was 0.9 radians. Um, but just coming up with kind of tools to estimate how you could figure out that central angle to get the portion of the circle. And then um, I just like to um, organize mine in kind of a table form so I can see it. But we said with the approximate central angle, so for this first one we said it was one-sixth of the circle, which is 60 degrees. For this one, we said it was one eighth of the circle, which is 45 degrees. And then we looked at two in radians. You could have done them in degrees, like I said, but let's just leave them in radians to kind of look at some different options here. And so we said 0.7, and we said maybe this one's about 0.9. So then calculating the actual area of those sectors to figure out how much pizza you're actually eating Okay, and then this would require using the radius in each one. So if the diameter is 9, the radius is 4.5. Diameter is 12, radius is 6. Diameter is 14, so radius is 7. Diameter is 10, so radius is 5. And so calculating the area. So remember, area is going to be radius squared times pi. So for each of these, so 4.5 squared times pi, 6 squared times pi, 7 squared times pi, and 5 squared times pi. And then thinking about um, how much of the circle. So in this case, we remember said so this was 1 sixth. So divide this by 6. And you get um, about... 10.6 inches squared of pizza here. So let's go down to this one because we said this one was an eighth, so we'll divide this area by eight. So 49 um, pi divided by eight, and you get about 19.24 inches squared here. Um, and then if we remember the formula for doing area with radians, remember that was one half times the radius squared times the angle. So um, I'm going to actually delete these out because we're not going to actually calculate the total area here. We're going to do one half times the radius squared. So this radius was six squared. And then we're going to multiply by the radian measure of 0.7. Okay, so 0.5 times 36 times 0.7 gives us 12.6 inches squared for the area of that sector. This one we'd have 1 half. The radius of this one was 5, so 5 squared. And then times the central angle of 0.9, again using this formula. So we'd have 0.5 times 25 times 0.9 and end up with about 11.25 inches squared worth of pizza there. So then if we're looking at the cost per inches squared so that we can kind of, you know, look proportionally, how much are we paying per inch squared? So then we'll put the cost on top divided by um, the area. So take the cost, 275 and divide it by this area. So 2.75 divided by 10.6 gives us um, about 29 cents. Let's see, 2.75 divided by 10.6 gives us about 25 
um, 0.9 cents or 26 cents per square inch. This one is 4.25 for this amount. So we'll do 4.25 divided by 12.6. And we get about 33.7 or 34 cents per slice. Vendor C charged 575. So 575 divided by 19.24 gives us about um, 30 cents or 29.8 cents per slice. And then this last one was $3.50 for 11.25 inches. So 350 divided by 11.25. And we'd get about 31 cents for that one. So this is looking at it as, as how much area um, you're eating of pizza. So which one would be the better deal would be the cheapest per square inch. Um, and so vendor A would be uh, the best deal in that case, potentially, based on your estimations there. And obviously A and C are, are pretty similar here. Um, 26 cents versus 30 cents. So depending on if you know, they're off by, by a couple of degrees. Those are pretty similar. Um, could also take some other things into account. A is a pretty thick pizza. So maybe you're looking at volume here because it's thick crust. Okay, and uh, this whole pizza is pretty thick. So this just takes into account the two-dimensional area. Okay, where this one is getting quite a bit more pizza than maybe like a thin crust would. Or maybe you don't like crust. So maybe you don't want this one because the crust is taking up such a big chunk of it that you want more pizza. So this, this one seems to get more of like the pizza toppings because it's got just a little slice of crust. So there's certainly many other factors that you could take in besides just the cost per square inch. Um, to consider as you're trying to figure out what is the best deal. And so that's kind of what we talked about here, comparing and contrasting, or sorry, different um, variables for choosing. And we talked about these different strategies. We talked about a protractor, and we talked about a string, and we looked at um, what portion of the circle it is when we could actually, of the circle of the pizza it is when we could actually see how many slices there were. Um, and so, in those photos, remember they are similar to the actual pizza the because photos are just dilations of real life objects. So we were able to um, use those to help us determine some stuff for real life. All right, then in 14.3, it's on page 244, we've got this huge slice of pizza here, and Jada and Andre are wanting to share this big slice of pizza, but they want to get the same amount. The problem is, is that Andre doesn't like crust, and so how are we going to divide the pizza equally between them so that they get the same amount of pizza? And again, the, the issue here is that Andre doesn't like crust. So we can't just cut the pizza and slice in half like this and just give each of them half because he's not going to eat the crust. So how can we think about splitting this up equally? And I don't need you to actually split it up equally. Just come up with some drawings of what you would maybe think to do in order to, to have this happen. All right, so let's take a look at a couple um, options here that we could do. I'm just going to delete out some of this so we can look at this pizza here. All right, so if we're just looking at this pizza slice, if I kind of simplified what this pizza looked like, right? So we've got kind of an arc here, and then we've got um, the radii of this pizza, okay, creating that slice. So we know that Andre doesn't like the crust. So we're kind of thinking, you know, if we were to just cut this crust off, right, this chunk right here is going to Jada. Then we would want to figure, so we'd want to figure out kind of how much of the pizza is that. 
And we know we can find the total area because the slice is just a sector. So if we got the sector area, okay, if we got that total, however much that was, that's how much the, the slice is, right? So that's how much our slice area is. But now we're going to cut this off. So we want to know how much did we just give Jada here? Well, hopefully you, you recognize here we've got a triangle now. We've got an, actually an isosceles triangle. So we could find the area of this triangle and just subtract it from here. So we could subtract the area of the triangle. That would give us the crust area that we just gave to um, Jada. So that would tell us how much we have here, would also tell us what's left here. And then we would need to somehow, you know, split this up, this extra, so that Jada and his combined to the same amount. So you're not going to end up splitting this in half, um, but maybe, you know, something here after you did it so that Jada could have this chunk with her extras and then Andre could have this. But just some ideas, okay, not necessarily calculating specifically the exact area of any of this, um, but just kind of thinking through how could we look at this and how could we divide it.